सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Untreated sewage is one of the biggest pollutant which goes into the river Yamuna. To reduce this load of untreated sewage, authorities in Delhi are planning a method to naturally treat around 1500 million liters per day of wastewater that goes into the river. A unique sustainable experiment is underway in Delhi where a constructed natural feature brings hope of reducing the need for expensive sewage treatment plants with issues of capacity and utility in today's edition of our dns we will be talking about this unique experiment a delhi university professor c r babu is making 11 constructed wetland system this system is being made at the south delhi biodiversity park that is being developed by the delhi development authority on about 200 hectares of land behind Kalindi colony these constructed wetland systems will use boulders and a variety of plants to naturally treat sewage from 25 drains stretching from okla to kalindi colony before it enters the river at the south delhi biodiversity park one out of 11 constructed wetlands started functioning on december 18 this year treating about 15 mld of waste from the kilokari drain professor babu who heads delhi university's center for environmental management of degraded ecosystems has previously constructed wetland system he has successfully used the constructed wetland system to revive a lake at neela horse biodiversity park back in 2016 what is a wetland A wetland is a specific ecosystem that is flooded by water either permanently or seasonally where oxygen free process prevails. The factor that distinguishes wetlands from other landforms or water bodies is the characteristic vegetation of aquatic plants adapted to the unique hydric soil. Ramsar Convention is a convention on wetlands on international importance. It is an intergovernmental environmental treaty that calls for international cooperation and national action to safeguard and sustainably use wetlands. It was signed on 2nd February 1971, which is now celebrated as World Wetland Day. Now moving further, let us know how the treatment will work. This method engages a three-step process which does not require electricity. At the mouth of the drain, a team of scientists led by Professor Babu have made a 1-acre wide wetland from the boulders and plants. The first step involves the drain opens into an oxidation pond. Here, the solid material in the waste is removed from a wire mesh and atmospheric oxygen dissolves in the water. The second step The water further travels and passes through channels and small ridges made from boulders which creates turbulence and causes aeration. The aeration brings water and air in close contact introducing small bubbles of air which rise through the water and remove dissolved gases in it. Higher turbulence means better oxygen saturation and enhanced quality of water. Waterfalls have maximum oxygen saturation and hence have very good water quality. The third and the last step involves in the treatment process happens when water passes through 25 species of plants. These species include typha, phragmites, ipomea and cypress. All of these are very effective in the treatment of heavy metals including arsenic. The raw sewage is like food for these plants and they extract nutrients from it. Over the time, they will grow from this nutrition. Now let us know how the river is recharged. Treated water is released into the river through wetlands stretching from Dhobi Ghat in Okla to DND flyaway to DND flyaway near Kalindi colony. Professor's team will be checking the quality of water being released into the river through its constructed wetland. The same process has increased the concentration of dissolved oxygen at the Neela Horse Biodiversity Park Lake. 
This lake used to receive untreated sewage through drains from nearby areas up to 4 mg per litre. The constructed wetland is a viable alternative to sewage treatment plants. Sewage treatment plants require a lot of energy to run and they will not function if their capacity is less or higher than the quantity of sewage. The creation of a man-made wetland can be more feasible and environmental friendly.